Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with Tabitha. Tabitha, and I popped by to talk to you because I wanted to talk about um, increasing share wallet business process uh, automation and what that means for financial services. And you know, when I think business process automation, um, it's 2011. Why are we talking about business process automation? Hasn't that been done already? Right. So what's what's new, and what does it mean for financial okay. services? Well, I don't, it's not that business process automation is new, of course. We've been doing business process automation. It was, you know, all BPR, business process for engineering. It's always a, a good topic. But what's new and what's interesting is how we can now get very discreet on the actual increase of share of wallet for financial services companies when we take apart what a process looks like and find bottlenecks that would release time okay. to allow customer-facing or member-facing staff to then do things like upsell. So what are examples of types of sure. uh, processes? Well, there's, there's a number. So if you happen to be opening a, a new account, if you're there doing a withdrawal, if you're doing a, a deposit, any time that I, as a member, am standing in front of an FSR or a CSR um, with a question or with a request, rather than the FSR or the CSR spending a lot of time um, doing things like photocopying papers or filing documentation or okay. you know getting me to sign my name half a dozen times or yeah. take out my ID the more we can take out of those activities and give that time back to the interaction the more time that that CSR or FSR has to upsell to the customer to okay. educate the customer to give them an overall better member experience right. and that's what's different about business process automation today right okay. is that we're able to go beyond generally face it, generally speaking um, first generation types of automation activities which was things like well let's put a computer in yes um, we're now able to say okay we have this technology in place how do we now turn it into green dollars for um, customers um, yes. well you yes, know what? My, thank you. my under my understanding too is that it's changed slightly in that this was only available to big banks, big organizations right. to automate it. Sure. And now with the new tools that are out and new new ways of doing stuff, sure. you can actually open this up to almost sure. anybody. If they... Well, and in this in this economy, with the kind of financial pressures that large and smaller financial institutions are facing, any opportunity to actually return green dollars, which run just to be clear. Okay are actual revenue coming into the company. Not soft productivity gains, which was a lot of where okay. the original business process automation was focused, but actually being able to create a business case that shows dollars coming in, okay. makes it really easy so to actually make tracking ROI tools. right to that. Absolutely, oh, okay. yeah, you're looking at tracking real ROI. Right. And the other great thing about it is the cost of the tools have come down significantly. Okay. You know, I think one of the great things about those large financial institutions is that they create a foundation of demand, right? But what that enables the smaller financial institutions to do is almost to ride on the coattails. So the larger ones are the ones who are picking up the basic development costs, who are going through all of the initial beta testing. So the technologies that they now have at their disposal, those smaller uh, credit unions versus, say, a Citibank or a Bank of Montreal, yeah. much more cost effective. So the combination means that you can get a very quick ROI. Well, you know what I'm dying to hear about now? Mm -hmm. I mean, I sort of know some of them because I'm in this industry. I, I want to know about the tools, and I want to know right. how you're using those yeah. tools to automate those processes. And, you know, I think what we want to do then is we want to talk with Yaroslav. Okay. So why don't we uh, have that we'll next save conversation? That one for next yeah, one. I think so. Okay, good, good. Hey, that was good. That was interesting. Thank I liked you. hearing about that. Um, where can people find you on the web? Uh, just go to knowledgetech.com. Okay, great. And it's Ron, and I'm also at Knowledge Tech. Thanks. Take care.